Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 694. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 686 to 697. In this trick here, we want to talk about the sum if function and how it cannot handle arrays. Now, there's this other video here that uh, does some similar things and actually talks about some other problems with the sum if. But in this one, this is just a really common thing that people do. They're like, I have some dates and whatever they need to add. So we want to add just for 2010, right? So we need to add just these ones. So they go like this, equals sum if. And they're thinking, no problem. Sum if, I have one criteria I should be able to add. The, and here's what they do. They go year. And then they highlight this column. Well, dates are serial numbers. So that's the underneath is the number of days since uh, December 31st, 1899. But we want just the year, so we're, we're going to try and use the year function to highlight all of these. And what the year function does, notice we've highlighted um, more than one cell. And if you highlight this and hit F9, you can see, sure enough, it gives us exactly what we want. But you see those curly brackets. <coughs> this is considered an array. And notice what does the screen tip say for the sum if function? It says range. Now if you go up to help, it doesn't tell you that it doesn't accept arrays, but I guess they expect us to figure out because it says range there, not array. But that's never going to work, right? So I'm going to suspend that, you know, well, what people usually do is then they go, hey, here's the criteria, comma, and here's the range. And here's another unhelpful thing about uh, the sum if in Microsoft. When you hit enter, it doesn't say anything about, sorry, you can't have an array. It just says, formula has an error. You're like, what? And click close. Copy, space, and control V. So that's never going to work. No problem. We just use sum product. And that's why sum product is so um, popular, because it actually can, that's not what I meant to do. It can actually do a lot of things that uh, sum if can't. All right, so um, we're going to do our same uh, uh, construct except for for the year. We have to do the year, highlight this, and we have to put a parenthesis before it and double negatives because we're going to say, hey, year function, you have all those years, are any of those equal to that? Well, some function can't really handle the trues and falses that this delivers, F9, but the double negatives can, Control Z. It'll just convert those to ones and zeros and then some product will add. All right, sum if cannot handle array. All right, we'll see you next trick.